Indians, right? Yes. Comes from the most indigenous civilization, America. Mm -hmm. Right? Everyone, everyone says we all made our money in America. Oh yeah, for sure. We all know that bitch is gonna be here banking that. But why do I agree on this? The American infrastructure works, right? Yes. It's undisputed, right? Sure. Liberia was trying to model, it's trying to model its civilization on America. In America, people have the right to protest. Huh? Freedom of speech, you know? I don't know, I don't think I've Freedom of speech, it's protest. It's a small you know? It comes from a, a civil society that you're doing the right thing, you're on the right track for. Is everybody listening here? Yeah. 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 What the racist America is when that, it works, you know, it works. Human, human beings basically are not easy. To, to get people to buy into this idea of republic, nation, and stuff like that, sometimes take thousands of years. Okay, this country tried to do it in less than a hundred years. Try to catch up with the rest of civilization and bring people who knew nothing about the democratic process, who know, knew nothing about the rule of law. Right? And say, look, this is the rule of law and everything like that. Well, we got a tribal custom. Well, history's taught us that doesn't work. History taught us that we need a government, we need a rule of law, and everything like that. The Japanese had that fight with the, with the samurai and the shogun. You know? The shogun said, we don't need a government, we don't need that. You know, the government said, yes, we do. Because if we don't, uh, we're going to be taken over, like the Philippines and everybody else. So the same way Liberia was basically could have been taken over and everything, that's what it was. So now you have people that given uh, uh, you tell you give people the power of the state, the power of law. That means you have the power of life and death. When you give somebody uh, that basically is called the culture is about war, tribalism, everything, and give them the freaking power of life and death of the state, you know. That's why the Civil War happened in Liberia. People don't trust each other. People start disappearing. You know, people start kidnapping. People like imprisoning each other, right? We saw almost that during George Wade's government right here, with CDC police people were arresting people like uh, the political opposition. I see the same patterns, right? We talk about Civil War. This country could go into a Civil War at any time. Now the same people are now trying to protest Walcott using the same tactic. But guess what? What happened at the beer lines right here, it's just an example, was that this government, new government is not playing. They know Liberia. You throw your eyes. But, yeah, they, they, but they're not yes, playing. I know these people. But, they, but, but this government is not playing. I know them personally. They, they're, they're playing. They want to get out there and protest. Yeah, they ain't playing, all right? Well, 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 hold on, hold on. You, you see, you see uh, Walcott and Kong, oh, oh, the look. children, are all already taking private jets. Well, Walk where? Where you see this? Oh, they posted it. Let me get into the next section. Now, this is what we're talking about, right? Yeah. People people, 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 but it's not gonna work this time. It's, it's, of course it won't work this time because nobody's doing that. Number yeah, one. That, that, number the two. Guy, yeah, the guy, yeah, the guy, yeah, 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 yeah. Which huh? guy? The kind, the kind of dude. Yep. He, he knows what I'm talking about. The CDC. What, what they, they're really starting their mess, and when they start their mess, this government's gonna show them. But isn't like, the same mess when George Bill was in office? That's what they used to do. Protesting. Nobody used to protest, and never used to protest. They never, Costa. they never used to, they never Henry used to. Man, the they used to be online, contacting U.S. government officials. This person did this. This person do that. And if I was up to me, I told one of the guys as a, a senior uh, military officer in Liberia, I said, you need to start cracking down on these people online, uh, yeah. doing all this nonsense online. 
So let's I get said, so need, let's let's get back. You know what, Miss Teresa? She asked a question. She was talking about it's all foolish. So you know? what happened? We ask, let's stick with that and let's leave politics aside. We talking about the facts now. What happened to all those years before the Civil War? Where's the infrastructure? <laughs> we asking for that now. Well, no excuses. Where's the infrastructure? Okay. Why why we don't see it? It's like this. Let me say something. Let me say something. Liberia was not a civil war, it was an uncivil war, you know? It was a, it was a, it was a, it was a complete anarchy. She was a victim of the civil war. Time out. She had to, she I had said had before time the civil war. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Let, let's make sure, let, let's make sure she can respond. Years. Let's make sure, go ahead, Teresa. All right, don't tell me this place had a civil war for 200 years. No. Look around
cities before he built up his home. If he was going to build Grand Cru, all the critics was going to say, oh, because you a crew man. No, no, no. I was going to report My friends in Nimba, all my people in Nimba, they like they tell me all the time, we only go to Monrovia. We went on airport that my boy. Yeah, because those people in Nimba, let me be honest with you. The people in Nimba, their mindset is different. So Way not, different. So not, so you know why the mindset world. is different? So it's not. So it's not the government. It's the individual like tribes, people. What are you talking about? No, what well, I'm saying the people in Nimba don't have that mentality. They're building Nimba. Why they don't? Why no? Why they don't have that mentality? Because they all. I told you. So people in Nimba are just that much better than other Liberians. Well, I talk to them and they seem like they're like. Yeah, okay, you know, we're well, have other opportunity. No, those you see, no, in America, right? In America, those Liberians that have communities in Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Georgia, let me be honest with you, those are the elites. So you will see Liberians with English last name. You will see the Johnsons. You will see the Urays. You will see the Thompsons. The all Browns. Yeah, you will see all of them. They're in Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Georgia. You don't even know they're Liberian. Liberians that came during the war, Minnesota, North Dakota, Iowa, these people coming from Nimba County. These people experience are different from the average Liberian experience. Why? Because they came from war and when they came to America, they came as refugees. So refugees are given certain things that regular Americans don't get. Other foreigners, other migrants do not get. My parents' generation did not get it. What a record, right? They came with green card in their hand. Most of, the people. most of them, before they even arrived in America, they stayed in a refugee camp. They saw how local Ghanaians used to hustle. Now they brought them, they went to America, they brought that mentality back to Liberia, of what they saw in Ghana, what they saw in Ivory Coast, what they saw in Sierra Leone, how they used to hustle. Everybody, everybody I know, like I said, my boy died. So that's why I said, Nimba County, you can't even compare the experience to the average Liberian experience. Every Liberian experience is different. Well, it's like, uh, you know, uh, so uh, government does have a role to play in it just a little bit. Well, like, uh, uh, great African saying, uh, uh, great model, great model warrior. I wish he was, I wish he was legit. This guy's a warrior. My guy, Naya, these are real, real strong men. You know what I'm saying? You can hear the bass in their voice. A strong black men. Oh, we know already? And they basically this just, basically like, yo. Like I said, I'm going to never have to go to the You guys want to take a picture?